What makes geckos sticky? We don't know. Not really. But we have some ideas. Maybe just not the full picture yet. Well, this is Mossball, the Lichianus gecko. You might remember him from the other day when he wanted me dead. <laughs> We're friends again now. In regards to the stickiness factor of these geckos, uh, that there's multiple factors at play. First and foremost, if you look at his fingertips, you can see some pretty good claws on there. That helps him to climb up tree bark and, well, trees. <laughs> Uh, brick surfaces, other rough abrasive surfaces, that's going to give him some traction. But how does that allow him to do this? Boop. Just like that. These guys can basically climb up glass. Sometimes I find this guy asleep on the glass of his enclosure. So if you look at the underside of this guy's foot, you see all those lines there? If you zoom in further than this camera can zoom, you'll see it's a whole bunch of wee little hairs. Now they're not hair. They're, uh, they're made of, well, I guess they kind of are hairs. They're made of beta-keratin, whereas our hairs are made of alpha-keratin. Um, but basically, this causes a whole whack of friction when they're holding on to surfaces, lets them hold on to any imperfection on that surfaces. But that's not all. There's more scientific gibbledy-goop there than just that. So there's something called van der Waals forces in the world of chemistry, and I don't understand these great, but the basics, basic principle of it is you have attractive molecular forces pulling towards each other, and that's about as far as I understand. Any chemists in the uh, comment section want to chime in on this, I'm all ears, but this is the standing theory as to how these guys stick to surfaces. Now geckos aren't the only lizards that have these sticky pads. This is a false chameleon, which isn't a chameleon, it's an anole. But if we look on his little feet here, we can see a much more reduced version of those sticky pads. But they're generally more well known across the gecko family. That said, not all geckos have them. This is a leopard gecko. These are super popular in the hobby, but if we look underneath him, Oh, he doesn't want to flip over for us, but there's none of those sticky pads there at all. Now that said, that makes sense with this little guy. This is not a tree climbing gecko. These guys hang out more so on the ground. They're terrestrial as opposed to arboreal. And that's all for today, everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. And if you have any answers, you can leave those there too. Thanks, and everyone have a great afternoon.